Lauren's first cousin, right? That's a well, the <laughs> Thank you for being here as well. Um, so the I'm news today, I, I've been working closely. I've gotten your uh, resolution from the commission and uh, petitions from the city and, of course, the veterans organizations here in the Mid-Columbia. And uh, the good news is that uh, this week, coming up, uh, Senator Wyden and Merck are going to introduce the companion bill in the Senate that we're introducing in the House. We have worked through all the veterans' organizations, which becomes quite a task, I've learned. It's taken about a year to get. They have to go through all their processes to sign off on this. And everybody in your delegation has to sign off on it, become a sponsor, both House and Senate. And then once you've done all that, then the Veterans Affairs Committee will take it up. So I talked uh, this week with Jeff Miller, uh, yeah, Jeff Miller, who uh, chairs the Veterans Affairs Committee in the House, and said, I think we checked all the boxes. I think we're good to go. And he said, then we'll take it up. So uh, I know this has been pending for a while. Two years. Uh, two years. Two years. <laughs> no, no, you've been two years, five months. I signed the letter January of 2014. Yeah. <laughs> and so uh, I'm, I'm, it's, it's overdue. It's long overdue. Let me just agree with you on that. Uh, yeah. We're, uh, hold your note taking for a second. There's actually still one bet that we can't break through on, but they said we are. So, yeah. so Monday in practice. Salem, uh, in the Legislative Committee, uh, the AOC voted as a whole, all, count, all the state's county commissioners, to send some more letters oh, out perfect. Monday. Great time. So we'll get those out. Great time. Well, as you know, uh, Sergeant Coffin was born and raised in the Dallas. Some of the best people I know were in the <laughs> Served in the Army during World War II and the Korean War, and while in Korea, his company was attacked near Yongsan. Uh, his platoon was two miles away, protecting the battalion flank, was ordered to come reinforce the company, and on their way to the new location, came under attack. Selflessly, Sergeant Kaufman ran forward, engaged the enemy, and forced them to retreat in confusion. Once uh, his platoon rejoined the company, they found the enemy had taken commanding ground and pinned the company down in the ground. Without hesitation, Sergeant Kaufman again charged the enemy lines, firing his rifle, throwing grenades, using his bayonet, seizing an unmanned machine gun. Because of his fast thinking and fearlessness, the enemy fled and the company regained their position because of Sergeant Kaufman's courage and leadership. For these actions and quote unquote conspicuous gallantry and intrepidity above and beyond the call, Sergeant First Class Kaufman was awarded the Medal of Honor by President Harry S. Truman. Now in his citation, it was written, the dauntless courage and resolute intrepid leadership of Sergeant First Class Kaufman were directly responsible for the success of his company in regaining its position, reflecting distinct credit upon himself and upholding the esteemed traditions of military service. Tragically, as you all know, uh, Sergeant Kaufman received his honor posthumously because he was killed in action on February the 10th, 1951, and is laid to rest in Atlanta National Cemetery. So uh, I, I clearly agree with the, the need to uh, honor him, uh, a native son of the Dalles, by uh, naming this clinic in his honor. And so, uh, as I said, uh, the delegation is all on board. We're working with Senator Wyden is going to take the lead this year on the bill. They'll introduce it next week. I think we've got all the boxes checked. And uh, I think we'll be uh, we'll be good to go. So I just wanted to gather together and say we're off to the races, uh, and uh, and we shouldn't have to, uh, to wait any longer. As Michael A. Jones, the commander of the American Legion for Oregon, wrote, "The time is now to remember Sergeant Kaufman for his courage, valor, and above all else, dedication to our United States of America." We are to pass HR 1762. So we should get a date fairly soon on when the Veterans Affairs Committee will approve that bill. Um, and I think we'll be able to uh, process it for the last year. Excellent. Thank you very <coughs> much. Appreciate yeah, well, it. Appreciate hopefully um, we regather soon with the plaque. And have yeah, it yeah or something, <laughs> somewhere. The thing that I want to say is that Mayor Rob Van Cleve and myself made a promise to your, it would be an aunt, item A, cousin back uh, in 2002 that we would find a facility that we could name after Lauren. We finally found it and I think this is no more better than anything that we could do for Lauren and your family. Naming this clinic where servicemen can get care 
Thank you very much. You know, that's really a good good way to say it because you think about the care he gave to others and risked his life to get it. This is good. Fair. Well, I want to thank you for working through the process. Um, I mean, if there's a better friend of veterans uh, in Congress, I don't know who it is. And you, you have been stalwart in terms of supporting veterans, and uh, this is a, a, a good example. So thank you. I appreciate it. Dallas has been quite a welcoming community for veterans. I remember when I was in the legislature, we changed the law to allow for the bonding to do one of these homes in Dallas. In a tough economic time, stepped up, taxpayers said, we're all in. And this became the first veterans home in the state. Mm -hmm. Others are now jealous. Mm -hmm. I really appreciate your work. It's been a long road. So it's been about two years since we less than I signed letters. Yeah, so. when we started the whole ball over once. And it just all came up again this week and then your announcement today. And so this is great that both us at the House and the Senate are moving forward finally. This is good news for the community. John, you know. Uh, <clears throat> very fitting, and thank you so much for your work. Uh, as a member of the House Veterans Committee in the Oregon Legislature, um, I, I always enjoy the work where we can pass bills and resolutions and honor veterans. Uh, most last few biennial, we've been dedicating all the highways from World War II mm -hmm. veterans we started out there. And we've got all of them named now, so great work. and. Uh, I actually <clears throat> am signed to this clinic, and they do great work, and uh, I've just watched every year as the veteran population has grown uh, coming and, and, and using this clinic, and it's exciting. So I think it is, is uh, very fit uh, to, to be dedicated to the farm. Yeah, you know, we've been able uh, around the around the district to get new clinics over the last decade or so. Places like Climate Falls and Burns and Grand and here, you know, it really makes a difference. Oh, yeah. We, we still have a few VA health care issues. We won't talk about that. We'll work on those. In fact, uh, the Veterans Affairs Committee is busy this week and will be next week on the VA Choice Program. Uh, what's working, what's not, what needs to be done. You know, we uh, passed a bill uh, two years ago requiring uh, the VA to come out with a veteran's ID card. Right. And I got asked about that at a town hall uh, a week ago today, and, or two weeks ago today, and uh, it was in Lakeview, maybe Klamath Falls. Um, and so we looked in, and they're still going to be a year out. Yeah. They're hard. So, but we're, we're staying on. It's just like this, you just got to go, now wait a minute, where are we on that? You know? <laughs> And, and we're making progress, but it's slower than, than I'd like. Are there others you want to? Yeah. I, I would kind of like to say something. Yeah, please do. Uh, Lauren was the middle child of the five brothers that uh -huh. were also in the service coming out of the time. He was the middle one. And they all switched on it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's so yeah. talk there. Yeah. Yeah. Five yeah. brothers. Five were serving at the same time. Uh, Dale went <coughs> Yeah, Dale went in. Cousin Dale went in when he was 17. And, uh, and then the rest of them followed. Mm. <laughs> if you could put, put that off. history together yeah, and that get it to be. Greg, we'd like blood to have it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. they got Purple Hearts. Mm. And yeah. And Dale was in the only one is the very youngest one that was Dale's age. Yeah, that additional history would be wonderful. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 Served with distinction. Okay. Yeah. Yes, they yes. did. And with courage. Thank you for, for pushing this forward again, and, and hopefully it'll do better this time. <laughs> Me too. I <laughs> uh, just really appreciate everything you've been doing for us. Thank you. Well, two years is the speed of life. You know. <laughs> I'm, I'm impressed. Maybe, yeah, maybe that's right. Uh, yeah, I understand that feeling a lot. Really. Man, it's not Salem, you know, where you do 30 or 40 bills in a setting and move forward. But, uh, you know, it, it is. Does anybody else want to make any comments about Lauren or the facility? Well, thank you for coming out this morning. Thank you for being here.